And the first person to come out of the family of Sayyid radiallahu anhu was Ali al-Akbar. He was the oldest son of Sayyid radiallahu anhu. He was 19 years old at that time. And he came out and he fought like a lion because he was who? He was the grandson of Ali radiallahu anhu. And he was the family of Hamza radiallahu anhu. And he fought like a lion until they cut off his hands and they struck him. And when he was breathing his last, Hussein radiallahu anhu took him in his arms and he said, Oh my son, on the day of judgment, your grandfather, the Prophet ﷺ, will bear witness to your shahadat. And then the cousins of the Prophet ﷺ move forward. And these weren't ordinary people, these were Sahabis. These were men who fought side by side with the Prophet ﷺ. And four of them came until they were martyred. And then Qasim, the son of Hassan radiallahu anhu, came forward. And he was a very beautiful young man. And he fought until they struck him over the head. And when they struck him over their head, he said, Ya Amma, he said, Oh my uncle. And Hussein radiallahu anhu muke ran forward and he took him in his arms and he said, Oh my son, today your uncle is so incapacitated that he cannot reply to your call because his enemies are many and his friends are few. But I swear by Allah that after this day, you will not need to call upon anybody. And then one by one, the family of Hussein radiallahu anhu were martyred until there were only two people left. Abbas radiallahu anhu and Hussein radiallahu anhu. And then they martyred Abbas and then Hussein radiallahu anhu fought. He fought bravely, but for three days, he hadn't tasted a sip of water. And he fought as brave as he could. But for three days, he had a taste of a sip of water until finally he retreated and he went into his camp and he had a young child, a young son called Abdullah. And he knew his time was up and he took his son in his arms and he began to kiss him and he began to embrace him. And one of the Kufan, they shot an arrow and the arrow hit Abdullah in the neck. And Hussein radiallahu anhu, he put Abdullah to the floor and he lifted his hands to the sky and he said Allahumma sabbirna ala al-qadha Allahumma sabbirna ala al-qadha Allahumma sabbirna ala al-qadha he said oh Allah give us sabr upon your decree oh Allah give us sabr upon your decree a man who's in this state but he's still turning towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of the kufan mentions and I swear by Allah I have never seen a man as brave as Hussein for bodies are lying all around him but he's sitting there as content as any man could be. Why? Because he knew he was destined for Jannah. He knew that Jannah was minutes away. And uh, Abdullah ibn Jabir radiallahu anhu, upon occasion, he was sitting with his students and Hussein radiallahu anhu walked past and he said, if you want to see a man whose abode is Jannah, then look at this man. Because I swear by Allah, I heard the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that Hussein's abode is Jannah. And his Kufan says that never in my life have I seen a man who was brave as this man is because he knew his abode was Jannah. And then Hussein radiallahu anhu, he stood up and there was a river close by because he knew his time was up. And he walked toward the river to drink some water. And one of the Kufan, they shot an arrow and it hit Hussein radiallahu anhu, and he fell to the floor. And when he fell to the floor, the Kufan surrounded him. And Hussein radiallahu anhu is saying, Sharibatul ma. He said, Sharibatul ma. He said, give me some water. For what will you do on the day of judgment? And when you will come to my grandfather and you will ask him for water on the Hodek Kothar. What will you do on the day of judgment? And the narration mentioned that the scene was so touching that many of the Kufan, they took a step back. Until Shimon said, what you waiting for? Finish him off. How can you imagine the scene? The family, the women folk of Hussein radiallahu anhu, his wife, his daughter, his sister are all watching this. And they set upon him like vultures and they struck him 60 times. But it didn't finish there. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah has a certain station for people. And often they cannot attain this station through their own deed. So Allah puts them through trials and tribulations. And then one of the Kufans, they grabbed his head and the other one removed his head from his body. What head was this? What head was this? This was the head what the Prophet ﷺ would kiss. This was the head which would lie on the chest of the Prophet ﷺ. This was the head which would lie on the lap of the Prophet ﷺ. This was the most beloved head to the Prophet ﷺ on the face of the earth at that time. And then they took the women folk of the family of Sayyidina as captives. 
and when Zainab radiallahu anha, the sister of Hussein radiallahu anha, she walked past the bodies and they beheaded every single one. And controllably, she started be saying, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Salla alayka malaikatu sama, Hadul Hussein bin Ara, Muzammil bin Dama, Muqatta ala dha, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Inna banataka sabaya, Wa zuriataka muqattala. She said, Oh my grandfather, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Oh my grandfather, may the angels of the sky sell salutations upon you. This is Hussein lying in the battlefield and lying in the battlefield. Today his shroud and his clothes are blood. And his limbs have been cut. What they did is after they killed Hussein, they made horses trample his body. He said, oh my grandfather, today your daughters have become captive. And your progeny has been killed. And the Kufan mentioned that even many of the soldiers, when they heard her say this, they lost control and they began to cry. And Allah didn't even give these people the tawfiq to bury Hussein radiallahu anhu until the Bani Asad came and they buried the bodies of Hussein radiallahu anhu. And when the Kufans found out, they set water over the body, over the place where the bodies were. And then one of the Bedouins from the Bani Asad, he came to this place. What was this place? This place was Karbala. Was it? Karbala.